We are now looking at the 2021 VCAR chemistry exam. This is the multiple choice. Let's start off with question one. Question one, rechargeable batteries. A, use reverse e reaction. That is correct. Let's just make sure the other ones are wrong. Operate as a galvanic cells during recharge. No, require continuous flow. No, that is a fuel cell. Um, they actually operate as galvanic cells during discharge. Not that one, so that's not right, that's not right. Have fewer side reactions as temperature increases. That's not right, that's, so therefore it's gonna be A is our question for one. Moving on to question two. Biodiesel and petrodiesels have different viscosities. That's true. Have the same environmental impact. That's not true. Um, petrodiesels are far worse. I actually, well, it depends on how you're using it, but they're different environmental impacts. Contain molecules with no polar groups, that's incorrect. Biodiesel is a methyl ester, so it has a polar functional group. Will flow easily through flue lines in very cold climate conditions. No, only petrodiesel does that. So the answer there is A, have different viscosities, which makes D redundant anyway. We'll move on to quart question three. People who are lactose intolerant have deficiencies in their lactase enzyme. So therefore we should know about that from our food chemistry. Which of the following statements is the most correct or is correct? Some of their consumed lactase, lactose remains undigested. That's kind of true because we don't have lactase to digest it. That's true. Moving on, the metabolized lactose in a non-aqueous environment, that can't be true. Bodies are an aqueous environment. Our blood is an aqueous um, substance, so therefore everything in our body tends to happen in, a non, in an aqueous environment. They are unable to digest proteins and in dairy foods. Uh, they are unable to digest lacta lactose, which is a carbohydrate. It's not the proteins that are the issue. Um, their glycemic index rises. It's nothing to do with glycemic index. It's going to be A is our answer because lactose intolerant can't digest lactose because they lack the enzyme. Let's move on to question four. Question four, a titration was performed, blah, 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 a systematic error that could result. Okay, what would happen a systematic error? A systematic error is one that occurs the same for every trial you do. So it has to, happens systematically. The burette tap leaked during one of the titrations. That's not right because that's one of the titrations. That's not a systematically happening. The burette readings were recorded to the nearest 0.1 mil. That's not a systematic error. That's um, kind of, no, it's not systematic. The number of drops in the indicator was not consistent for each trial or each titration. That's not systematic either because um, it happens differently. If they um, added them the same for every single trial and it was wrong, that might be systematic, but it, chances are that's not right. The actual concentration of the standard solution was lower than the stated concentration. That seems more systematic because it would happen, that would affect every titration that you do and it would affect it in the same way. So therefore D is the right answer for part four. And then we're gonna move on to part five, which is what two molecules here. Which of the following options most correctly describes molecule one and molecule two? It's looking at cis and trans. Okay, so what we've got here is molecule um, two. You can see here, this is gonna be trans which is fine. And then here, what have we got? We've got um, molecule one is gonna be, well, you can see the CH3s on this side and CH3s on that side. That suggests that it's probably gonna be trans as well. So therefore we're gonna go with C. So they're both gonna be trans molecules. Um, you can see that trans means the similar functional groups are on the different side of our carbon to carbon double bonds. So therefore, question five is gonna be trans as well.